Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's your boy Rahul, Rahul SXM, as a lot of people might know on social media. And today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to edit your museum pictures. Super duper easy, beginner's level, with just pretty much one app. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Before we get into the video, I just wanna introduce myself. I was born and raised on a beautiful island in the Caribbean called St. Martin. But when I was like 19 years old, I moved to the Netherlands to study international communication and media at Erasmus University in Rotterdam. But for now, I'm back home due to Rona doing my internship. Something really different about the Caribbean and living in Rotterdam is that in the Caribbean, we don't really have that many museums or as many as they do in like Rotterdam. Over here, we mostly just go to the beach, which I really love to do. But ever since I moved to Rotterdam, I've been super interested in different museums. I love to visit them. I actually go to them, most of them, with one of my friends who's also a photographer who happens to take my museum pictures, Mateo Santana. You could check his Instagram. That's what I like to do mostly in Rotterdam, especially when because it's always rainy or something. It's best to be in a museum indoors, so that's what I do. So I decided, you know what, let me show you guys how I edit my museum pictures. Without further ado, let's get started. So the museum that I went to and the pictures that I'm going to show you are from the Maritime Museum. And Matthias and I got our tickets from Tickets. <laughs> it was super easy, super convenient. And Maritime Museum was so beautiful to see. Something that I learned at the museum was a little history about the port of Rotterdam. So most of the pictures that we took were outside not really inside the museum because we were so fascinated by what was going on so we got some of the pictures on outside these are some of the examples of the pictures that we took and i'll be editing these two pictures the app that i use the most is visco and it's super easy and it's free the best part is that it's free so what you're gonna do is put in the two pictures or the picture that you're editing and import that then select it now if you look underneath it says for this photo it visco basically gives you like six filters that they think would look best on your picture sometimes i'm like i'm not too sure which one i want to use so i'll just check them but usually i just tap through all first thing you're going to want to do when you go into visco is crop your image the instagram ratio is four by five and luckily visco has that exact ratio so you could just crop your picture instead of having to go on Instagram and crop it and then go back to the app. So you do that. I do that so I could see how much of the picture I'm actually editing. And if you see, I'm actually sitting in front of a boat. I thought it was really cool because you have Rotterdam underneath and just to show which city I'm in. So I was like, okay, I have to get a picture here and then I'm going to choose my filter. I kind of just tap through all. Also, I don't use the entire filter, I just use a bit. So you could scroll to use like the entire or just a little bit. And exposure, reduce that. Contrast, I think I'm going to reduce. Sharpen the image just a little bit. And add some saturation, not too much. White balance, I'm gonna, I usually always make it a bit blue, like temperature, I reduce that. And I go up on the pink. And then my skin tone, I don't wanna look too, too yellow, so. night. I don't normally use this, but I'm gonna just try for this image. Now the grain, you know, I wanna get like, since I'm out at the port, I wanna get this old school kind of vibe. I think I'm pretty much done. Save to camera roll i'm not done just yet for this one picture i'm gonna use the editing settings on the photos app i think on the iphone if you have an iphone the photos app is so convenient and people often don't check it but you don't need to download an extra app just to fix things because the photo app has a lot so for this i'm gonna add a little more black points because i feel like the blacks aren't too sharp like on my pants and underneath the boat for example maybe a little bit of vibrance so my t-shirt kind of stands out and i think i'm done this is my final now let's compare them so i just screenshot the original picture and i put it it's like next to it and i'm just gonna see 
before and after. I'm happy with that. So let's get to the other picture. Open Visco again. Something really, really cool about Visco is you could literally copy the edits from your last picture and just paste it on the or new picture. But for this one, I'm not gonna do that because it's two really different pictures. So I'm gonna see. For this picture, I'm a bit unsure what filter I wanna use. So I'm gonna see which one Visco suggests. Ooh, I'm stuck between P5 and T1. I think I'm gonna go with P5. I don't normally use P5, so let's see. I'm gonna bring it down though because, yeah, 7.5. And now we crop it. I'm gonna reduce exposure, contrast, no, sharpen. I'm gonna sharpen it a bit and let's see. Okay, let's do the contrast. Saturated, just a little teeny tiny highlights. Um, no. Let's see, I'm gonna. Ooh, I like when I increase the temperature, but I'm so used to decreasing it. So, pinks, because my t shirt, I'm, it needs to stand out. And my skin tone, I don't wanna look too purple because of the P5 edit. I'm gonna add grain. I'm not entirely satisfied with the grain on this, so I'm gonna add a little dust. I'm gonna save this to camera roll and go to Afterlight. Afterlight, this one's another free app. There's two, and I am gonna use this one. And I'm gonna add a little bit of dust or grain. Let's see. So you go here, dusty, and I just tap through whichever and see which one I like. So I think maybe 11. You could also change it to like black or white, but I think I'm gonna stick to white, like dust, and then decrease it. 25. Yep, and I think I'm done. So I'm gonna save that, go to my photo apps, and let's compare them. So just so I don't get confused, I delete the Visco edit because that's not my final edit. My final edit is the Afterlight one. So I'm gonna delete the Visco and keep the Afterlight. Let's see before after Ooh, that was like a really different kind of vibe but yeah so this is the first picture the before and then the after and this is the second picture the before and the after it was super duper easy literally if i did not use afterlight i basically only used one app and i also used the photo apps something you don't need to download all of this was entirely free if you like the way i edit my pictures and want to see more pictures of me you can follow me on instagram it's going to be right down here and also do check out my youtube video because i post on there regularly if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment what you think which virtual was your favorite comments if you use any of this or if you need further help i am happy to help and yeah subscribe for more Thank you guys.